All right. Finally, we get back to some interesting uh, tomb forks. Now, I'm looking at this project. I had to do a little research to set up all the links and stuff for all of you, right? This thing right off the bat looks very complicated. It looks really nice, right? And they've also been audited by Tech Audit uh, on the upper right corner. They also have a link to the bottom. And I know that this is supposed to be a pretty legit project because VVS is actually pretty familiar or something like that. I don't know. I, I forgot. I forgot who told me in the Elite Discord, I think. Or maybe it was a YouTube comment. Or... Oh, that's what V is. Oh, this is what it stands. Very, very, very simple finance. And I don't, I don't, I don't remember, but I know that these guys are generally pretty legit. So I don't, I'm not going to check for, you know, is it a rug pull or not. It's also a legacy site. Oh, okay. So anyway, they also have a lot of TVL locked. And obviously this complexity obviously works for them. Right? So uh, I'm just... Uh, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I, I really, I, I really don't know what to do. And I do like that their user interface generally is pretty good and very clean and streamlined and relatively simple because they're trying to fit a lot of crap on one page which is why it's a little confusing so okay the only thing i don't like as usual is they don't provide a chart right for deck screener right they have one chart over here but oh well so let's see so this thing prints a lot of shares Okay, all right. So they're going with the, they're they're definitely going with a mass quantity kind of thing. So that's kind of interesting. I kind of like that too because you know the prices are much cheaper. So you just spend like ten bucks and you can feel like a king because you have like a lot of whatever. Uh, okay. So this is the bonds. So V three tonic is actually different. Oh, okay. I thought this was the name of their bonds. Okay, so. Yeah, good luck to me trying to figure out the smart APR system on this shit. <laughs> so anyway, they have they have a lot going on here, and there's obviously a crap load of money. This is on the Kronos blockchain. So this is their farms. I don't have to worry about the Genesis pools. Uh, B-tonic. Okay, so so these guys actually use a multi-token peg system, so that could be interesting. But it's so effing confusing that I have no idea what the hell is going on here. So we have V3 Tonic and Tonic, so that's the two peg tokens put together. Then you have V3S and VVS, which is, I think, a bunch of other peg tokens. VVS, okay, so VVS is actually a completely different token. Like, this is done by the VVS. Uh, team or diamond holders they say here but built by a team of VVS diamond holders so it's basically their own little pet project right so we have VV we have V3S current pro jeez okay okay so V3S is this tune for V3 tonic is also this tune for and VVS is that thing on the other original website called VVS. Okay, got it. So we're looking at basically three peg tokens. V3S, Tonic, and what's what's Tonic? You gotta be kidding me. Oh man. Alright, at this point I have no idea. I should actually skip this project. This is too confusing, but I'm gonna try. Well, I'm already recording. I'm recording, right? I'm already recording this, and I kind of want to just get this out there. Plus, some of you might actually might be interested in this, especially because this actually looks good. It's just very complicated. Like I don't understand what the hell I'm looking at. So at this point, I don't know what the. Okay. So I'm gonna have to assume that Tonic is also like an outside token, and they just happen to peg themselves to it. So there are two peg tokens. That's what I'm gonna go by. At this point, I don't really care. I don't want to spend too much time on this, uh, trying to figure this out. So. V3S is, because that's the name of this site, V3S Finance, is one of two peg tokens, and the other peg token is V3 Tonic. Okay. So that means I have to understand the first multi printers on Kronos stake V share to earn V3S, V3 Tonic, and then also other things, apparently. So they're probably planning to add more peg tokens. Okay, and there's a drop down here too. Okay. 
Okay, so this this basically tells me so you're getting I think you're getting both of these in the boardroom, and this just simplifies it so you could decide so you could see for yourself how much you're getting of each. And what I like is oh I, I this I really like they tell you what the actual inflation rate is right now. So I don't even need to look at the boardroom because they already told me over here. The I mean, inflation rate I mean we'll go down here. Okay. All right, so it is. So I'm getting like Jeff Bezos vibes from this, right? Simplicity through complexity. Ah, jeez. Even for a high IQ guy like me, I, I really don't want to be burning all that IQ when I'm trying to figure this out. All right, so this is kind of interesting. This is actually very interesting. So maybe I could actually check to see if I can add something like this to the smart APR system. I mean, the problem is it creates so much more complexity that you know that could cause a lot of problems too. But you know, we'll see. Okay, so I can harvest like 11 trillion things here, right? Because they're using a multi-token system. So I think this is actually like a world first, believe it or not. Okay, so these are obviously yearly APRs. So if you're, as always, avoid the shares. Okay. Well, maybe not. I mean, it's five bucks. So it's already kind of cheap. I mean, I should probably have a chart open for V3 Tonic as well. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to have to create... Oh, man, this is a... Oh, God. Yeah. But see, this is how I do research live. All right, so you can see my thought process. Okay, so there are two pegs you need to keep track of, basically. Uh, oh, man, I'm going to set this to one hour, dude. Okay. So the first thing I have to ask is, is this above peg? So I think the answer is yes. I'm going to go just by this. So basically, both of the peg tokens are way above peg in one form or another. So that should mean I should see a big dip here, and then also something similar over here, but not as much. Okay, so that does make sense. Okay. Oh my God, how do I, how do I, how do I do this? How do I do this? All right. So, great, my shit browser. Oh, okay, there it shows. So your daily APR for the shares is two point thirty-seven percent. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with that low to high end, and then you can decide you want the other ones. So V3 Tonic is paying six point twenty-eight percent. So I really shouldn't even be covering this project because the APRs are too low. But I'm already committed to this video, so whatever. Okay, I don't know. I'll have to read. God, I don't want to keep opening these pictures. Now, with that being said, I guess the benefit of something like this is you really want to actually stake the boardroom. That actually might be with the pl like if you were to do this pro like there's no way I would ever do this project. It's, it, first, it's on Kronos, high gas fees, and then number two, uh, this is just so too complicated for me. But it obviously works, right? Because you know this 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 is not an accident, right? This is almost seven million dollar TVL, so it obviously works. It's it's just not for me personally but maybe for some of you who might be looking for something hopefully a little more stable well a lot more stable apparently so and remember you're getting we you stick in this boardroom as of this recording you're getting two tokens at the same time I believe I believe that's what this is because it does say multi printer so you're getting two for the price of one so it's actually kind of cool in that way uh, you're stuck in here for three days oh boy yeah have fun with that Here's the inflation rate. It's still a little too high, but it is still lower, right, than like other tomb forks. But it doesn't really decrease by that much. But it does say expansion rate will be reduced 5% appropriately. So I guess they manually adjust this over time. Great. And here are their charts, right? So this is a relatively new product. They've been out for well, not new. They've been out for almost a month, I guess, like three weeks or whatever. So that's pretty cool. It's already kind of bottomed out. Uh, yeah, we actually have to zoom in here. So I mean, it looks pretty. It looks pretty good, you know, the uh, the the bottoming out. So I don't know. I guess if you really wanted to try this, you could. But for me, uh, oh boy. Oh yeah, they are using the smart APR system. I'm gonna assume that they're using the smart APR system. Actually, I really shouldn't do that. I should actually take a look at the TVLs. But from what I can tell, the pay tokens are making more than the, the, the shares. 
This has a TVL of almost $1 million. Okay. Wait. B share, B share W Crow. This has a TVL of $911,000. And the other pay token has very little TVL, well, little, quote unquote, at 152000 TVL. Okay. So I guess for whatever reason, a lot of people don't like tonic, V3 tonic, and tonic. So I guess if you were going to this, you would try V3S and VVS. I guess that's the most stable pay token pair. Uh, I'm just going to write 2% to like 7%, I guess. I, I'm just not going to bother with this. This is so confusing. So I think they're using the smart APR system. Uh, their board row prints a little bit less than normal, and they're using very large numbers for supply, so the price is very low. So yeah, so this might not be so bad. Um, and then, yeah, I guess just check this out, I guess. Uh, and they have a nice little roadmap. Now I will say that their UI design is very, very good. Despite having so much crap on the page to deal with, and they clearly knew that, they did a really good job with the website design of this project. Uh, this is a scam warning, so of course I'll get rid of that. And I'm not going to borrow these others because I checked it. Poseidon Ariel, and there's also regulations, I guess. I didn't bother looking. All right, just use a VPN and you're good to go. These are like their treasury thing. You can check that out on your own. I'm not going to click it, so... I guess we could take that out. So we got six links here. Yeah. So this is their treasury. It doesn't seem to have much, but it's better than nothing. One of them supposedly has like 424,000 hours locked away. And I don't know. I'm just getting overwhelmed with so much of the info here. So anyway, maybe we're looking for something new on Kronos and something a little more stable that still actually pays like an okay rate for being very stable. You can definitely check this site out. But uh, get ready to buy like 11 trillion tokens to LP this shit because they got a lot going on and then apparently excuse me they might actually be adding more peg tokens so okay, I'm trying to burp something I don't want to get hiccups V3S okay oh this is probably why I saw it because I saw they had a pretty high peg yeah, yeah, I don't know. You gotta just look at this. I mean, whatever. I mean, they've got a lot going on. So, I think this is relatively new. So, all right. So, check out V3S Finance if for all you very, very high IQ, very pro complex stuff. I'm definitely not going to be on here because A, it's on Kronos, and because I just don't want to deal with the gas fees. And spreading across so many different blockchains. I'm already in BSC, Polygon, Phantom, and AVAX. I mean, like, I'm already kind of all over the place. And that doesn't include all the stupid projects that I have to manually clean and compound with. All right? So, yeah. But otherwise, this looks uh, like a very solid project, right? Just, just, it's just, uh, yeah, I just don't know what I'm doing here. So, I don't know. Take your pick, I guess. But, yeah, I'm not planning on investing in this. All right, so next project is I, because I actually was gonna do dark crypto finance, but it turns out that's actually more of like a NFT game kind of thing, similar to uh, what was that name? Axie Infinity, but Mo Blocks. Yeah, I, I, I want I don't want I don't do those because very low daily APR. So it's stable-ish, but very low APR, and it still goes down a lot when the market's in crypto tank. So it's like, what's the point? You, just, you make less money, you lose money anyway, right? Because now you're stuck with a shitty low daily APR, uh, you know, yield. So it's like, it just sucks. So yeah, so not doing that video. Next video will be called Zoom, Zoom, Z O M B Finance, right? Not to be confused with Zombie Finance. And this was actually personally recommended to me by Renzo. So I'm kind of doing it kind of as a favor to him and the devs. So, uh, and, you know, the dev sounds like, you know, he's pretty receptive. So hopefully he'll actually take my suggestions because, you know, we'll talk about it in the next video. But, yeah. And, um, yeah. I, 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 but, yeah, anyway. Like, subscribe, share the video around. Oh, there's so much work to do today. But, so it's actually kind of good. I don't have to do the uh, dark crypto whatever video. But... Because I was expecting to do five or six videos today, minus one now because I'm not doing dark crypto, I might actually do 
I have APY Lab 3, which is, has to be, I have to wait till after they launch, right? Just make sure it's not a, a scam. Uh, I do want to do a Sphere Finance update because that thing's been popping off. And I actually see a lot of people in my YouTube comments request this. So I'll do it because you guys asked for it. I also want to do an Ad Smart APR System How to Make Your Team Fork Successful uh, video. And they'll be featured in the playlist. So, you know, because I really want these things to succeed so I can get my daily income, you know. Because I don't make money off of these videos, really, until maybe I get Google monetization and Technically, that's not guaranteed either, right? Because I got like a bunch of warnings on this YouTube channel. Though I haven't, I don't have any. I haven't had any strikes in a long time. So I mean, that should fact. And I cleaned up this YouTube a lot, especially delete a bunch of old videos. So I mean, I can't see. And I make a lot of money for YouTube, so I really don't know what why they're gonna be assholes about about it. But I don't know. It just depends on the human reviewer, hopefully. And let's see. Yeah, I don't know. We'll talk about the next Tomb Fork in that video. So it'll be Zoom, Zoom, I guess. But yeah. Thanks for watching. See you in a little bit. And yeah, 16 minutes, 15 seconds. Hey, works for me.